Hello, my beautiful Capricorns. How are you today? Welcome to my channel, Irish Donna Tarot. My name is Donna Wilder Hart, and we're getting ready to do a Celtic card spread for your love life. To look into the details, we'll clarify everything. I want to welcome all new visitors, all cross watchers, and certainly welcome back my beautiful subscribers for whom I want to give great thanks and gratitude for a beautiful year of support. Thank you so much. I love all your comments. Thank you, thank you from the bottom of my heart. So for those of you who may be new to tarot, this is a general reading. All the messages that come out of the deck will not be for you. It's like a buffet table. You take what is yours and you leave the rest and let's get started. If you do like the reading today, I am trying to grow the channel. I have some exciting new programming coming up which is very geared to how to find love proactively through esoteric means. So let's look at that. But let's get started with your 10 card Celtic Capricorn. Beautiful Capricorn. Happy birthday to you and happy belated birthday for anyone who is who's already had their birthday. Okay, Capricorn, look at you. You have the death card, Scorpio energy. You have cut something from your life. Okay, I like it. It's a great start. It usually is a sign of rebirth. I love it when I see Pluto on the first house cusp of an astrology chart. Look it! You have absolutely transformed your life. Your mantra right now is it's about being happy, about sunshine. For some of you, your life may have been changed dramatically by the birth of a child, Leo energy. Life is never the same once you've had a child. It's always definitely a birth and um, rebirth. All right, so let's see, those cards fell. Okay, so let's see what we have here. I like this, this is exciting. Can't wait to see what happens here. All right, the Ace of Wands, a new beginning, very passionate, very happy, very joyful, a lot of growth. Okay, Six of Wands, that is a victory in love, in life. The Three of Wands, your ships have arrived in the harbor. You know what you want, you know what you're going for. The Sun card is the happiest card in the deck and it indicates that after a period of mourning or change, dramatic change, that you have found your happiness that's already in existence. This is the situation as you come into the reading, Capricorn. So what have you been up to? Again, could be a child, could be that simple. Okay, so what we have in the near future is you have a situation in which there's some sort of strife, heartbreak, there's something that's going on that you may have to cut from your life because we have the devil, excuse me, the death card and the three of swords. So let's see, we'll clarify everything. Okay, the ace of coins, a new valuable, this is a new beginning. So you may be making an offer to someone, Capricorn. You may make an offer to someone else. The ace of coins is about a new opportunity. This is about a new beginning, so. You know, but oftentimes we see cards mingled in that are emotions that are still in existence that have come from a period of time of mourning. Okay, so let's see what else we have in the situation. At hand, the Magician card. That is the energy of Virgo and Gemini. You are manifesting. You're manifesting something powerful and new. Something reliable is coming forward in your life. The Six of Swords, many of you have moved away metaphorically from a situation that's been very painful. You've left something behind. If you look at this death card, this is all about what has happened in the past. As you move forward with a broken heart, you know, for whatever happened here, you're moving into a beautiful new energy. Again, healing energy moving forward. Okay. Ten of Cups. Oh, look at this card. I have had so many good readings. This series of readings has been the most fun I think I've ever done for my YouTube audience. Look at this Ten of Cups card. And remember I said many of you might have had a baby 
Okay, so we have an infant, we have a toddler. Okay, so let's see what is going on with your reading. Okay, so let's get the overall energy at this time in this reading for you, Capricorn. Capricorns are super family oriented. You guys take it as a career very seriously. I love it. Capricorn parents tend to be very, very good parents. Okay, let's see. Look at this. Time to give rather than take. Well, of course, <laughs> babies require a lot of time. I feel as though for many of you, you're manifesting quite literally a relationship which will culminate in marriage and that you may be dating this person now and mending a, a broken heart and manifesting something new. Let's see what else we have. Balance, spirituality, and practicality. Beautiful energy. Okay. So now let's look at the clarifiers for this reading for our beautiful caps. This is stunning. Two aces. The sun card, which is the happiest card in the deck. The victory card. A beautiful, happy family. Your heart's content in love. The magician card. Beautiful. Okay. So why is a death card here? What is being released for Capricorn? Ah, Capricorn energy. Capricorn, you're in your own reading. The devil energy has been released. Came out sideways. It's progressive. So progressive means you're healing from this, this devil energy. Something that was toxic. Something about an offer that someone gave you has not lived up to your expectations. We have the card of the high priestess. You intuitively knew that whenever the sexy devil made an offer that it might be like a counterfeit coin. That that offer was from somebody who might be very controlling. So that is, I'm going to put these clarifiers right here. So an offer that turned out you really love this person too but it turned out not to be a great offer had a lot of strings attached to it okay so look at this the sun card is clarified by the four of wands it is a marriage for some of you you have recently married for some of for others of you you have met someone that you're going to marry and after this death card and the release, because that's Scorpio energy, by letting go and following your intuition, you have, you have started something new here for yourself. You have manifested a significant offer coming in as well as something passionate. Six of Cups is clarifying the Six of Wands. For some of you, you may have known this person that you're, you're going to marry or you have the relationship. You may have known them for a while. They may have been a childhood friend. But look at this. The Wheel of Fortune turns in your favor. The timing is right. We have the clarifier for the Three of Wands is the Scorpio King. Okay, and we have the Eight of Cups with the Scorpio King. So let's see, did you walk away from this King of Cups or is this King of Cups the person that you're developing relationship with? No, nope, this is a person you walked away from. Literally walked away from, okay? So it does look like for some of you, you've left this relationship with someone who kept their feelings to themselves. Somebody that you felt was being sort of manipulative with that devil energy. Someone who was holding back from you. Okay. So why is the Scorpio King here though? Yes, you are very much in love. You thought this was your soulmate. For some of you, it will actually be your soulmate, but it's going to resonate a little differently. I, sometimes I see multiple storylines, which gets a little hectic. Six of Swords energy, though, you're taking off in the boat alone. So I will, I really think this is very clear that somebody that you've met in the recent past um, is really the person. Look at the Nine of Cups, your wish is granted for a broken heart. 
new love replaces an old love and you did move away from the Scorpio King. We have you by yourself in the boat moving away from this relationship. It was very heart rendering. You really love this person. But with that toxic energy, it looks like they might have put you in a third party situation because you're still healing from that situation because we have the three of swords. Okay. For some of you, you were married to the person, but I think for others of you, you did not marry the person. So it'll depend on each individual person watching the reading. Okay, what about the Three of Swords? <gasps> Replaced and healed by the Three of Wands. Your ships have come in. Your wish comes true. Your happiness is yours. Your stability is yours. You're manifesting a new love relationship that is very likely to culminate in a long-term friendship is what the cards are telling me. That is your outcome. That this is already sort of predestined, preordained. So let's see why we have, what is this Ace of Pentacles card here for our beautiful Capricorns? What is this? This is very grounded earth energy. It can be an engagement card, okay. It is a beginning of a very grounded, successful, very well-planned, very uh, well-executed new beginning for you. You finished a cycle. We see the death card. We see that you followed your intuition. You let go of somebody who hurt you very deeply, and you are beginning again. Someone has made an offer to you, or you're making an offer to someone, and the world card says that you're letting something go by the wayside to begin freshly or fresh again. This magician card, look at that. Why is the magician card here? Okay, so somebody who caused a lot of drama has been replaced by someone who is grounded and loving. We have the king of pentacles who tells the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. Oh, wow. So let's see, why is the five of swords there? Why is a Five of Swords there? Okay, the Lover's card. And somebody who is very romantic because we have the Knight of Cups. So for some of you, people are competing. You have two different people competing for your attention. Why? Who was the drama queen, king though? Excuse me, queen or king? Who was the person that was argumentative who is that person the one you release judgment okay so the argumentative person was the pluto because that's um scorpio energy so we have scorpio energy and scorpio energy so you did release somebody from the past you may have been married to that person also but now you're you've manifested this beautiful new taurus king who tells the truth who could be your soulmate and with this energy coming in romantically look at this this was sitting right on top of my cards here you are the queen of pentacles is matching the king of pentacles energy Whoa, that is, I can't make that up. We love it. That's exciting energy. Okay, so I get excited in my readings. I love doing this for, for you guys and with you guys as you watch guys and gals. Okay, the Six of Swords is here twice. Why is it here twice? Because you don't want to be hurt for one. Yep, you are fearful of being with anybody who has a lot of options. You want somebody who's grounded. You definitely want somebody who's grounded, who is not out there chasing around. It looks as though your person was got a lot of attention from other people, kept their options open. You are coming into a relationship right now. It is in the making. It is being created. You already know this person, I believe, given the Six of Cups. Equal give and take. What a beautiful reading for you, Capricorn. Let's look and see what the outcome is on this reading for you. If you do like the content, once again, please subscribe and hit that notification bell. I do upload weekly. Okay. So let's see. What is the outcome of this reading? Cleansing waters. 
purification activities and vibrant life force. So that is very much a description of what you're going through. Healing waters is a six of swords twice. The healing waters is, you know, you, you know, really, really in throwing caution to the winds, enjoying yourself, and looking forward to the future. You are healing. Beautiful energy, Capricorn. Sending you love from Chicago. It's been a joy reading for you. Send some love back and tell me where you're from. Thank you, Capricorn. Hope to see you again in another video. Thanks again. Bye-bye.